Hello, I'm Carol Dunn and I'm a designer with craftsyouprint.com. Today I'd like to show you how to make one of these square based gift boxes which open like this. This one is for a baby boy, the one I'm going to show you is for a baby girl. As you can see I've cut out all the pieces. Uh, not only that, I've scored along the lines that need to be scored. I haven't put any uh, markings on these boxes uh, for where you to do that because it would ruin the look of your box. But basically it, you score along the top edge here, uh, down here, down here and along the bottom. You also have to snip just about two millimetres down to this line, here and here. So I'm going to start by making the box sides. And like I said, I've already scored, so it's going to make it easy to fold. Now this box will actually give you a very strong box with quite um, thin card. This card is only 160 GSM. But when it's finished, it's got a very strong box. That's one side. Now before you start making the box, there's one or two slots you need to cut out. This is one of them. And there's another one on this piece. I've cut these out with a craft knife. Now the glue I've used for this is the strong glue that has a smell to it. There's two reasons I use that, this glue. One is because it's a strong glue, which is uh, good for the box. But secondly, it allows you a bit of slide. I'll put that to one side just to dry for a couple of minutes. This is the box base. I'm only going to put glue around these edges. And again, I'm using the strong smelly glue. So if you put this face up and then your box can go directly onto the top of it. Now this is why you need glue that slips a bit. Right. So that's the bottom of the box nearly done. This is the bit that goes on there, so you have to make sure that you line this slot up with that slot. So the easiest way to do it is 
have your slot towards you so you can see it put it face down and again you put the glue around the sort of semi-circular sort of edges then turn it upside down make sure your slot is in the right place and line that one up first and then slide the others into position so you do need sort of quite slidey glue for this not the sort that grabs hold straight away Now that's the bottom of the box complete. So that can be drying while I make the top. For this box there's four of these shapes which I've already scored and when I open it up you'll see the lines I've scored on. It's the outer triangle lines So make sure you get them all lined up in a row. And put glue on these sort of semicircle sort of shapes. And slide them into position. Now before you finally glue the final edge up, you may want to put um, a loop of ribbon or on this one I've put um, a tassel in. So you need to put that in before you close it up. So I'm just putting a loop of white ribbon on this. Slot it into there and Put a double glue on the other side. Which will hold it in place. And then make sure it's going through the top. And then you can glue the sides together. So that's what that looks like so far. This is a support for the top. You need to bend this flap over and then bend it forward again. Now that needs a little bit of 
glue on to keep it in place. Now put that face down on your work surface and put glue around the edges. Then you can line the top up on top of this. and slide it into place. Now to line this up properly, put your tab through the slot. I can't see what I'm doing. So you know it's in the correct position. And then this is the, the tab bit through the slot. So on the opposite side, you put some glue. Now your box is complete. Open it up. You may have to just ease that a little. My glue's still wet. Because this is like a hinge. Now, if you wanted to, what you could do is to cut into those corners and stick those down if you wanted. But I don't mind it as it is. But it does make a pretty box for a nice baby gift. Yeah.